Yep, that's right. Maximum flavor. Maximum flavor, maximum amiga, Chef Adrian, Panda Kitchen. It's Thursday. I know you waited for it. I felt like I was probably just gonna sleep from last Thursday until well, remember today. Remember, we put that on Facebook. We, we were, were talking about, yeah. about it. Do you know what this one does on her <laughs> Facebook page? Which, by the way, what you could do right now if you have any questions about the kitchen, like I do, except I can kind of call Chef Adrian. Go to her <laughs> Facebook page, www.facebook.com forward slash Chef Adrian, A D R I A N N E. Ask her a question, and at the end of the show, she's going to answer live. But she changes her Facebook status, and she's like, I'm making lobster with drizzling butter, <laughs> and don't you wish that you were here right now? And I'm sitting well, in bed, I'm like, oh my we gotta God. We got to tantalize people, right? Yeah, you know. absolutely. Isn't that what I do to you? Like every Yeah, day? she does it to me all the time. Like before I go to sleep, I'm like, what's Chef Adrian's status on Facebook? And she's like, hey, guess what? I'm bringing you chocolate next Thursday. It's Thursday. I don't mm. see any chocolate, but I do see. It's in the oven. It's in the okay, oven. Okay, fine. We're going to start with fine. a maximum Baja salad. Maximum. Super crunchy, Baja. super interesting. You're going to see. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Why don't you make the dressing oh, while I put this together the salad? Good. I started with some Dijon mustard. Okay. And Dijon you get mustard. the whisk. The whisk is this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There whisking. you go. Whisk. Okay, what, okay, what am I whisking? Just the mustard? Dijon mustard, some With? honey to balance it out. Ew. Salty and sweet. Salty and mm. sweet. All right. There you go. Okay. A little bit of cumin for that southwestern flavor. Cumin, southwestern yeah. flavor. Got to have the cumin in there. There you go. Some right. chef's dust. Okay, chef's dust is <laughs> Chef Adrian's magic fairy dust. Magic fairy dust, exactly. She won't tell me what's in there, but no. it's her secret. Are you crazy? Right. A little bit of salt. A little crazy. <laughs> salt. <laughs> Okay, a little bit of champagne vinegar. Ooh, champagne. We like you to brought get the champagne. champagne. Oh, you brought champagne here last week. I almost poked someone's eye out trying to open that thing. That's okay. It's all, all in right. good fun, right? All in good okay, fun. Here you go. You made champagne mojitos. Mm. I think we have that. We have that on yeah. our website. Well, if you're interested you know, in making that, or come to the restaurant and have some. Come to the restaurant. <laughs> some extra gosh. virgin olive oil. All right. Okay. Okay. Now whisk that like you mean it. Uh, okay. Without wanna... getting it on me though. Uh, there you go. I'm backing okay. it up. Now we're gonna set that aside when you're done. Oh, am I done here? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you could stay in. It if you like. Okay, That's fine. I, I, I mean, need a maximum flavor. Um, <laughs> Let me get the, the chef's bowl. garment, the um, the apron. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Garment. garment. <laughs> wow, <laughs> the chef's garment. We got red onion. Okay. Okay. Some diced tomato. I like the cherry tomatoes just because they're so smaller. Do I. So really? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna take a piece of cheese before there you, you dump go. That Pepper in there. Jack. Careful. Ah, oh, spicy. Excuse me. We got some olives. <laughs> and then we have some pepper jack cheese all cubed up here. Which is now, spicy, by the way. There's jalapeno in here, isn't there? Of course. There? Okay. Okay. While you uh, cool down there, can you pass me the blue corn chips? Yes. <laughs> Do you have any? Okay. <clears throat> okay. There we go. We're going to add that in, too. Extra kick. I mm. love food with texture. Exactly. Like I love me when too, you combine the crunchiness with Pass me. me the beans, chef. Beans, beans. beans. They're good for your... <clears throat> Um, I'm gonna add a medley of beans. Here I got some red beans and some chickpeas, just for a little bit of interesting texture or there as well. Garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna get my friendly green thing. Okay, now green like me. the jalapeno inside of the pepper jack cheese. It wasn't that bad. No, Toss okay. me the the dressing right into here. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. While I whisk. You might not want to whisk, oh, you're going to get I'm all over me. <laughs> all right, so okay. now we're going to toss this together, and then you're going to pass me the arugula. Arugula. Now, I this love. is a recipe that's super easy. Anybody could do this. You could buy the ingredients at your local grocery store. I, and you know what? This is really good for you. Sorry. I love arugula. We're going to put this on our new lunch menu at the restaurant for our summer menu. Here we go. Mm. It's very fresh for summer. It is. Okay, now, before mm. we finish, we have our avocado. I love when you bring avocados and when they're different kinds of avocados. We're going to do the cool stuff. You see? We have Ready? a half avocado. Half avocado. And we're going to... Slice it. Slice it in the skin. It. Now, the top That's how I eat, I'll eat mangoes like that. Really? Yeah, I slice them in like little corners. You know, you're somewhat of a kitchen genius. <sighs> That's because I learned By from accident. you. By accident. That's because I go to, you know, chefadrianfacebook.com and read your status and I try to <laughs> mimic your greatness. Hello. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay, now tell us that avocado in. action. That was easy. Ooh. There you go. Tossing? Awesome. Like All right. Color. Now we're going to put that in the center of the bowl. Okay. Here, why don't you do that? Yeah, That's because a lot of pressure. this is good. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. All right. Ooh. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Now, I love to use these imported olives just because they're a little more interesting as well. You know, Where instead of you getting your regular jarred olives. Okay. So now, are they your, pitted? No, these are not pitted. But I feel like when they're not pitted, they have more flavor to Absolutely. them. Absolutely. I was just going to say that. Mm -hmm. See? Okay. Now, so. for some, a little bit added crunch as well. I fried some sun-dried tomato tortilla crisp. Wow. Fine. And here we go. Mmm. Maximum flavor. 
Baja did you fry salad. Did you, you got this from the mini fryer? Yeah, from our crazy nice mini fryer. Mmm. So, oh, wow, these are good. This okay. is a fantastic, easy salad. Come to the mm -hmm. restaurant, try it for lunch. Low fat. Where is your restaurant flavor. located, Chef Adrian? We're in West Kendall in the hammocks. Okay. So come check us out. Bring the bring the family. Make a reservation. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah. Um, you told me that you're, I, I, you better you better pull chocolate out of somewhere. They're telling me. <laughs> that's, hey, that's our bonus recipe. You got to catch it online. Okay. Bonus okay. recipe. Catch it online. Now, if you have any cooking questions or you just want to be a fan of Chef Adrian's on Facebook, <laughs> here's the website. Facebook.com slash Chef Adrian. Now, she'll be picking one question to answer live right here after the break. Hurry. You only have about two minutes and 30 seconds. Hurry. Oh, do you have a fork? <laughs> this is good. I like the country part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Today's South Florida sizzle cooking segment is brought to you by Panda Kitchen and Bath. From imagination straight to installation. Log on to pandakitchen.com today. This question comes from, from Alex in Hialeah, and Alex wants to know, what is the summer yeah, menu your you've summer been talking menu. about on your Facebook page? Yeah, Chef time. Adrian, that was the question that they asked. Yes. He wants Alex to know, what Hialeah. is on your well, summer our menu? our summer menu is a little different. Mm -hmm. Guess what? We want everyone to get a chance to experience this maximum flavor explosion. Yeah. And this summer, we're doing two people dine at the restaurant for $39. Oh, really? Oh, well, yeah. That's a great deal. Two people, 39 bucks. And you get that whole maximum flavor. A lot of the dishes that we're doing are right here. So <laughs> we saw you. Like yeah, that this is so tortilla. good. Uh, look at this. Bob's been eating this. this. No, I just want to taste it. Bob just wants That's the really good. Jam. Bobby just scooted the whole thing over. I, mean, I did I'm all just, the work, and they are doing all the eating. Bob, Bob, you that's the whole idea. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep the pepper jack. Oh, See you tomorrow. All of our so websites, by the way, are on NBC Miami. From imagination straight to installation. All wood kitchens from $14.99 with full granite countertops. At Panda Kitchen and Bath, we love it when a plan comes together. Hey guys, I have the perfect dessert for you. I have a maximum flavor style white chocolate and blueberry bread pudding with a butterscotch and amaretto sauce. Super easy. We're going to start with four eggs in a bowl. And we're going to give them a quick whisk. Here we go. Break them down to, to the egg mixture. We're going to add some heavy cream, some evaporated milk, brown sugar, vanilla. OK. And then we're going to whisk that as well. OK. In this bowl right here, we have some broken down croissants. I like them as, oppo as opposed to uh, stale bread just because the richness of the croissant makes it that much more indulgent. It's delicious. Go big or go home, as they say. To this, we're going to add white chocolate morsels, okay, and some fresh blueberries, about half a cup's worth. Okay, and we're going to throw our egg mixture and cream mixture right into that. Okay, now we're going to let that sit for approximately four, 40 minutes to an hour to let all that soak up together. We toss it around. Okay. Now this mixture we put in a 10 by 14 baking dish and we bake it for about an hour in a 400 de degree oven or until a stick comes in and comes out clean. So we bake that about an hour and you should have a perfect bread pudding. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. Okay, now we're going to put these blueberries here aside for our garnish and we're going to make a quick sauce. We have some butterscotch, some store-bought butterscotch. Okay and then some amaretto liquor. Now, of course, you can adjust this according to how strong you like it, or you could not use the amaretto at all, but I like it just because it makes it that much more <laughs> interesting. Give this a quick mix. All right, so after that's been baking an hour, we're ready to go. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Something like this should not be allowed. That's how good it looks. Okay, actually, we're going to take it over here so we can cut it. Now we're going to take it. I like it warm. So we're going to spoon this out. Let's see what would be the easiest way here. We got the blueberry going on right there. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Here we go. Now we have the white chocolate melted into there and the croissants are ooey gooey and the fresh blueberries give it a tang. Oh wow, wonderful. We're gonna top this with some freshly whipped cream. Okay, some added blueberries. Fresh blueberries, some mint, and our sauce. Oh, wow. And there you have it, a maximum flavor style white chocolate, white, white chocolate blueberry bread pudding. Eat up. Yum.